Imagine waking up tomorrow in a world where computers can solve problems in 200 seconds that would take our current supercomputers 47 years. A world where AI systems could understand human consciousness. What you're seeing isn't fiction, it's our future. It's the collision course of quantum computing and artificial intelligence, and it's approaching faster than you think. What happens when the two most revolutionary technologies of our time converge? In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how quantum computing and AI are about to fundamentally transform everything about our existence, from medicine and security to the very nature of human potential. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that keeps me up at night in the best possible way. We're talking about quantum computing and artificial intelligence, the dynamic duo that's about to rewrite the rules of what's possible. Before we jump in, quick question. Have you ever wondered what would happen if computers could process information fundamentally differently than they do now? Not just faster, but in an entirely new way? That's exactly what's happening at this moment in labs around the world. Let me break this down for you. Classical computers, like the one you're watching this on, process information in bits which are either 0 or 1. But quantum computers use something called quantum bits, or qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Meanwhile, AI systems are becoming increasingly sophisticated at learning patterns and making decisions that once required human intelligence. When these technologies converge, we're looking at a civilization-level transformation. Let's explore why. To understand why quantum computing is such a game-changer, we need to grasp how utterly different it is from classical computing. Imagine you're trying to find your way out of an enormous maze. A classical computer would check each path one by one until it finds the exit. But a quantum computer? It explores all possible paths simultaneously. It's like having millions of parallel universes, each checking a different route, and then collapsing into the one with the solution. This is possible because of two quantum properties, superposition and entanglement. Superposition means a qubit can be both 0 and 1 at the same time, until we measure it. Think of it like a spinning coin. While it's spinning, it's neither heads nor tails, but both possibilities at once. Entanglement is even stranger. When qubits become entangled, they form a connection where affecting one instantly affects the other, no matter the distance between them. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. With these properties, quantum computers can solve certain problems exponentially faster than classical computers. For example, they could simulate complex molecules for new medications in hours instead of centuries. They could optimize logistics for entire cities in real time. They could break most of our current encryption in minutes, a terrifying and thrilling prospect for cybersecurity. But here's the kicker. Quantum computers are still in their infancy. The largest stable quantum computers today have around 100 qubits. Experts predict we'll need thousands or millions for the truly revolutionary applications. But that day is coming, and when quantum computers reach their potential, they'll provide the computational horsepower that advanced AI has been waiting for. While quantum computing has been developing, artificial intelligence has been on its own exponential journey. We've all witnessed the rapid advancement of AI in recent years. From chess grandmasters to Go champions, from driving cars to generating art, AI systems have progressed from novelties to surpassing human capabilities in specific domains. But current AI faces significant limitations. Despite impressive capabilities, today's AI systems require enormous computational resources. Training a single large language model can cost millions in computing power and produce carbon emissions equivalent to hundreds of car lifetimes. 
And despite their sophistication, these systems don't truly understand the world the way humans do. They recognize patterns extremely well, but lack genuine comprehension or consciousness. This is where quantum computing enters the picture. Quantum neural networks could process information in ways that mimic how our brains work, not just recognizing patterns, but understanding complex relationships and even developing something closer to intuition. The computational boost from quantum systems would allow AI to process vastly more data, enabling it to model systems of unprecedented complexity, from climate systems to human biology to financial markets. But more importantly, quantum AI could fundamentally change how machines learn and think. Classical AI is limited by binary logic. Quantum AI could operate with quantum logic, embracing uncertainty, probability, and the interconnectedness of information in ways that more closely mirror human consciousness. And that brings us to where these technologies converge at the frontier of human potential. So what happens when quantum computing and AI finally converge at scale? The transformation will touch every aspect of human existence. Let's start with medicine. Quantum AI could simulate every molecular interaction in the human body, revolutionizing drug discovery. Imagine customized treatments designed specifically for your unique genetic makeup, delivered in days instead of decades. We could finally understand and effectively treat conditions like Alzheimer's, cancer, and aging itself, potentially extending healthy human lifespans by decades. In climate science, quantum AI models could simulate Earth's climate with unprecedented accuracy, optimizing renewable energy and carbon capture technologies, potentially reversing climate change. For security, quantum computing will first break our current encryption systems, creating a security crisis, but then establish quantum encryption methods that are theoretically unbreakable. Economically, the transformation will be profound. Many current jobs will disappear, but entirely new industries will emerge. The nature of work itself will change, as quantum AI systems augment human creativity and problem-solving. But the most fascinating frontier is consciousness itself. As quantum AI approaches human-level intelligence, the boundaries between human and machine consciousness may begin to blur. Brain-computer interfaces could allow direct communication between our minds and quantum AI systems. This raises profound questions. Could quantum AI develop consciousness? Could humans enhance their own consciousness through quantum technologies? What would it mean to merge with these systems? The answers to these questions will determine nothing less than the future of our species. With such transformative power comes enormous responsibility. The convergence of quantum computing and AI presents unprecedented ethical challenges. Whoever controls advanced quantum AI will have extraordinary power potentially surpassing national governments. If quantum AI can enhance human capabilities, who gets access? Could we see a split between enhanced and unenhanced humans? And perhaps most profoundly, as we develop systems that may approach or exceed human intelligence, how do we ensure they share our values and work for human benefit? These aren't just technical questions, they're philosophical questions about the kind of future we want to create. The convergence of quantum computing and artificial intelligence represents the most significant technological revolution in human history, potentially more transformative than fire, agriculture, or the internet. We stand at the threshold of a new era where the fundamental limits of computation, intelligence, and perhaps even human potential are about to be rewritten. 
The quantum AI future isn't some distant science fiction scenario. The technologies are developing now, and their convergence is approaching rapidly. How we navigate this transformation will define our civilization for centuries to come. The quantum AI revolution is coming. The question isn't whether it will transform humanity, but how we choose to direct that transformation. I hope this video has helped you understand the magnitude of what's approaching. If you found it valuable, please hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment. Let's keep exploring the tech that's shaping tomorrow together. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember the future isn't something that happens to us. It's something we create together.